Dan, here we are. Not in the man cave. If I went in the man cave on a Monday night, my wife would string me up probably. Yes. Anyway, so the other week, I sent uh, CJ himself, military collectibles, a helmet, his collection, and he said to me, I'll have a scrap around my collection and uh, see what I can drum up for you. Uh, I've had a couple of packages off CJ over the last couple of years, always top draw stuff. Uh, he gives away better stuff than I've got in my collection. But thanks again to him. CJ, you're a great fella. And I see he's recycled the uh, beer box. He did say he was going to do that, which goes to prove that collecting military is a very green hobby. And I've done some trading with lads over the years, and uh, anybody who wants me to send them something in a beer-sized box, I don't mind drinking the full contents just to make sure I've got a box. So, anyway... Uh, I don't know what's inside, uh, CJ did message me and give me a, a couple of little hints of what it is, it was rather heavy, so I'm opening it for the first time, he did say there'll be specific instructions, so it says on here, open this way up, so very gingerly we will open the box and see what Mr Military Collectibles sent us. Everyone's got fancy opening knives, I've just got like a potato peeler. So, a nice thing to receive on a Monday after your first day back at work after a weekend off is a parcel of military collectibles. Yeah, this this is the uh, problem with a potato fail now. It's not not very sharp. There we go. Right, so there. So there. Oh, I tell you what. CJ, you're a top fella. Already I can see this thing is chocked full of stuff. You, you know you're going to say you shouldn't, really. But uh, I've got a little note. I'll just read out uh, what, what he said. Hi Stan, thought you might like the enclosed. Thanks very much for the Portuguese helmet. A very kind gesture. No problem, CJ. Please find the enclosed. Soviet cap. Stars, World War Two, Cumberland, Cumberland Pencil Company war drawing pencils, East German NVA mess tins with World War Two reenactment stamp on the base, A pair of West German Bundy, Bundeswehr gaiters with reenactor stamp, reprint World War Two German infantry handbook, remnants. Remnants, is that remnants of World War II German bread sack? Pair of pre World War I binos in case, bloody hell. Complete set of World at War DVDs and Daily Mail Create War DVD, Great War DVDs. Reprint Penguin F aircraft recognition, recognition. World War II brass. I'm not sure what that says. Uh, perhaps, oh, German wardrobe tag for the overcoat. I remember you did the video on that. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you did. Reprint, officer manual of Western Front, 1949-819. Pair of East German MBA officers, Agulets. Hope we'll find you well. All the best. And thanks once again. CJ, military collectibles. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm overcome with emotion. Now, that, that, that's, honestly, CJ, you shouldn't have, but... You have, and I will make full use of these these items, definitely, 100%. That's fantastic. Look at all them. That's fantastic stuff. And, and that was, he did the video on that before, for those who are interested in his channel, who watch his channel, which is lots of us. I remember seeing that, and I, I didn't know what they were. That's fantastic. Great. And the strange thing, the Agulets. Now, I've seen these on... I've seen them on uh, more recently on uh, Jim Timbers 2's channel where he's got the full East German uniform and I've got four or five tunics, not a, not a set of these but I have just bought myself uh, for a birthday coming up that I've got so it's an early birthday present of CJ a, a book, I've plumped up for about nearly 50 quid for a book on East German uniforms so this will be able to show me the book will show me how to set it up I'll do individual reviews on these, we'll go through oh there's the reenactor stamp, yep I get you. I do believe the West German ones are similar, aren't they, to the um, World War Two ones? That's fantastic. That great stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. There's me. All right for videos for the rest of the year. Nice book there. Go in the library. 
this tin. Really like the stamp on the bottom, as he said. Yeah, that's fantastic. Over here. Very well packaged. I better get it all unpacked and scurried away in the collection before Mrs. Stan comes home because she will uh, be. <laughs> You're kidding me, mate. Oh, yeah. Have a look. I'll tell you what, I'll take one out and show you what it is The Great War. No, and also. That's all the Great War. That is the one, the series, I believe, that was. Uh, it's all the Great War in there. That was narrated by um, Michael Redgrave. And I remember it came on the BBC. I don't know if I've said this to CJ before, maybe why I start putting it in. It came on the BBC in sort of summer 2001, 2002, and I thought, I've never seen this. And it, I think it is classed as a bit of a precursor to the world at war. Now, it went off for the cricket. And there's like obviously 20, 30 episodes. I never got to see it again. So that is top draw, that. That'll be the next uh, few months in the man cave. Just sat watching DVDs. And why not? I actually had to go in the man cave to get me uh, my stand out. And I thought, oh, I could just stay in here. I think he did mention to me before as well that uh, he got a load of these when it, when it came out. Because I think... There's number one. I need to check the date on the back. That's number four. The date on the back, obviously it was made in the 70s, but it was reissued, I bet you, in. Let's have a look. It doesn't say when it was reissued. Because I just have a feeling, a feeling, I just have a feeling that when this was reissued, I didn't come across it because I was in Australia. I think that's the reason why. I think. Because my dad gets the Daily Mail all the time and he passes things like that on to me. Ooh, look at these little doozies. Very neat. Must be a sliding. Is it a slider? Don't want to break it. Pop that way. I'm on cat duty as well, so I have to... Oh, there we go. Open. Ah. Little pair of, like, uh, up opry glasses. I'll have, a I'll have a little look up to the... Uh, look up the garden. Like this. And check the cats. Hey there, it's clear the bell, then. Huh. Yeah, they are clear. Nice little pair of binos. Thank you, CJ. Officer's Manual of the Western Front. Great stuff. I love how like this, because it just looks nice in your man in your man cave, in your library, on your, your bookcase as well. Also. Oh, so that's the reprint of the Jurassic, yeah, 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 okay. This stuff and the pencils, so they should have something written on them. Ah, there you go. So, it says I have to look over the top. I my glasses on Cumberland pencil war drawing. Very good. Actually, I could use them for writing notes, couldn't I? Would that be sacrilege to actually use them? Let me just put them on display, Stan. And I'm sure I've seen him do a video of this. I'm sure I did. Because if memory serves me, it has got a rather large... Oh, that's class, that. That really is good. That's excellent, that. Ah. I am a happy stand. So, once again, I would like to thank top YouTuber and great bloke CJ, Military Collectibles, thanks for sending me all that stuff. I only sent you the helmet, you shouldn't have sent me all this, mate, you know what I mean? But uh, it will, as you know, get a good home in Steel Lumber Stands, Man Cave, Attic. When the rate things are going in my house, I might have to move into another room. No, I don't, I'm only joking, she'll kill me. So I'll do individual reviews on these over the coming weeks and months. Uh, yeah, so that's it. So thumbs up, cheers, CJ, and. Uh, i have to get rid of all the stuff before, well now actually, because you'll be coming through the door. See ya.